for today's Cyber CEO episode. I chose James and it was a, an excellent choice. I know this is going to sound kind of corny, but I just felt it. <laughs> I need somebody that could take initiative and just go with it and could see maybe beyond what I could see. And that's exactly what he does. James does my social media, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram. He makes my videos. He fills the content. He does my ads for hard print and he sends out the postcards and stuff, whatever it is. He does it all. <laughs> I like James. I know he has a sense of humor. I like people with a sense of humor. Any task that I give James, he will do it. I'm just not afraid to give him anything. And so he's probably going, come on now. <laughs>Welcome to Cyber CEO, wherein we talk about how our cyber backers helped our cyber CEOs take their businesses to the next level. Cyber CEO is powered by Cyberbacker, the world's leading provider of admin support services from anywhere in the world to anyone in the world. Please visit our website www.cyberbacker.com for more details. Okay, another awesome day here at Cyberbacker. My name is Jello. We're back with another episode of Cyber CEO. And of course, we have a very special guest on the show. Vicky, how are you doing today? Good. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes, we're very excited to have you. I know and understand that you have a lot of things to do. So we really appreciate you dropping by. Now, um, to start things off, to let you know, we have a lot of listeners who are business owners just like yourself. So I need your help. Um, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Maybe let's start with... What's your role in the business, Vicky? My name is Vicky Chenoweth. Um, I'm a realtor. I've been a realtor since 2007, and I've been in the real estate industry for since the mid 90s. Wow, a lot of experience for you in the real estate <laughs> business. But um, how about virtual leverage, though? I'm working with someone virtual. Is this your first time? Oh, this is my first time, and I am telling you, my cyber backer James is amazing. He has uh, lifted my business. Um, lifted, you know. Business. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now, um, before we dive into more about your cyber backer experience, though, um, was it a big change for you? Because you mentioned this is your first time working with someone virtual. So was it a big change? Just we're having to work with someone virtual because I know before the pandemic, um, a lot of us were used to working with people that we can meet. Now, again, it's virtual. So how was the transition for you? Oh, the transition was amazing. Um, he was he was well qualified and he had been trained. And so it, it the transition was really easy. Um, I just asked him whatever I whatever I needed. I just asked him and he did it. <laughs> there you go. Quite easy partnership then. Anything you need help with, he's there. Right. Absolutely. Now, um, how did you find out about Cyberbacker? Um, did you see us online? Did someone refer you to us? So it was referred to me by um, uh, Keller Williams, mm -hmm. the Keller Williams yes. Puget Sound. So they they um they're the what they're the ones that actually brought it to my attention. I was on um I went to what they call the Keller Williams Family Reunion mm -hmm. in Orlando, Florida in February and that's where I first spotted it. And then it just that's what got the wheels turning and then it wasn't until like June or July that I actually did it. Oh, okay. So you only started um a few months ago then. So a fairly new partnership with James. Oh, yeah, but within those few months it's been amazing. Right. That might my business has taken off amazingly because of James. Gosh, yeah, imagine you, you've just been working together for a few months. Imagine what you can do in a year's time, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Now, um, talking more about James, your cyber backer, before you got to work with him, you went through the hiring process with us. So how did that experience go there? That experience was, uh, actually, it was very good. Um, you know, because I actually got to interview mm -hmm. each candidate individually face to face, um, you know, well, not face to face, but you know, through, through Zoom. It's like what we are but, doing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, um, it was, it was quite easy actually, you know, and, and there's also a sheet, um, uh, sent out on each one, a resume, as you will, of each, each cyber backer. So, and I, and I chose James. Mm -hmm. And it was a, an excellent choice. <laughs> excellent choice. But I'm um, going through that hiring process. How did you know? Or how did you feel that James was the perfect fit for what you needed? I think uh, for me, mm -hmm. um, James was a perfect fit for me because of the way he answered my questions. Mm -hmm. I know this is going to sound kind of corny, but I just felt it. <laughs> oh, so gut feel, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. 
right. And I think that sometimes really factors in in making any kind of decision because you would feel first time that you talk to a person, for example, just to work with them, you would feel that right away. Like, mm, he's good, but not really feeling it. Something like that, right? I think that really happens. Yeah. And on his resume, he it did say that um, he had worked independently mm-hmm. and he does work independently. And that's what I needed. I need somebody that I didn't need somebody that I needed to hold their hand and they needed mm-hmm. to ask me every time they needed to do something. I needed somebody that could take initiative mm-hmm. and just go with it. And that's and that's exactly what he does. And that's exactly what it said on his resume. Yeah, because, again, if you hold someone's hand all throughout a process, then it's like you're doing it. It's like training them. Then it takes a oh, lot yeah. more of your time rather than just you doing it, right? Oh, absolutely. And I need somebody that that could take initiative and could see see maybe beyond what I could see mm-hmm. and then um, and bring up suggestions or, um, you know, and, and do it and not wait for me to tell them mm-hmm. every time they need to do something. And I'm glad that you got partnered with James because, again, very, yeah. very independent guy. Now, I'm um, talking more about James. What are the tasks that, that you leverage to him every day so you can focus on your business? So every day, James does my social media. I mean, my LinkedIn, my Twitter, my Facebook, my Instagram, um, whatever it is. You know, yeah. he he does, he does, he makes my videos. He does he fills the content, and then I also have him do um, other things. I have him send out my birthday cards every, once a month. I give him a list. Mm-hmm. He sends out the birthday cards. You know, he does my ads for hard print and he sends out the postcards and stuff for, for like my listings and my just souls and <laughs> he does it all. <laughs> <laughs> so he has his hands in almost everything then, especially the social media part. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, to be exact, so you've been working with James for two, three months? Yeah. Around that time. I think, yeah. Mm-hmm. July, I think. Now. You already mentioned, we already talked about the things that he's doing for you now. But how about for the future? Of course, I know for a fact that you have a growth plan for your cyber backers. So what are some of the new things that you're planning to let him do, let's say, within the next six months from today? Well, I have him working on a special project. And I and he knows what that special project is. But um, and it's um, and it probably won't happen until like, you know, March or April of next year. But he's he's building it right now. Oh, so little by little <laughs> than those projects for him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Gotcha. gotcha. Now, um, talking more about the partnership that you have with James. Um, I know for sure that we have a, a few listeners here that have, um, have difficult times when it comes to working with someone who's virtual. So my next question is, what are some tips that you can give them just working on building how to create, I mean, how to create a strong partnership with someone who's virtual? Well, with somebody that's virtual, I mean, they're, they're virtual, but the, it's like you and I speaking right now, you know, you're, it's like, make them like they're right here with you. You know, don't think about it virtually. Think about they're a partner with you. You can, mm-hmm. you, you can um, meet with them whenever you need to with, within their time frame, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. whatever your time frame is with them. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I can, I can call up James anytime I need to speak with him face to face. Um, I try to do that once a week. Um, and then, um, we constantly, he, we text message and we email every day, every day I can, I can get James will let me know when he starts. And then, um, he has a whole list of things at the end of his shift that he tells me that he's done. I don't know. To me, it's, it's like, he's right here. So I don't feel like he's virtual. So what you're trying to say is just try to remove that virtual from that Absolutely. partnership that you have with just just a partnership just treat them just like someone you would treat who's right there in your office something like that yes absolutely 100% agree with you there now one last question for you vicky and i know for sure that james is going to be able to watch this once we have this online <laughs> so what we'd like to know is what do you like most about james your cyberbacker what's the first thing that comes to mind when we talk about him i like james i i know he has a sense of humor and so I like people with a sense of humor, you know, but business on business wise, I'm, I'm not afraid to give James any, any task, mm-hmm. you know, any task that I give James, he, he will do it, you know, and he always sends me, he, he does it, but he, he will also, also send me a proof first, oh. you know, so that's a very important, you know, because sometimes there's changes and sometimes, sure. you know, what I'm thinking doesn't come out, you know, maybe how you want it way. to be something like that. Oh, yeah. He, he may interpret something differently, but that but generally, generally he we were right on point. So 
but anyway, so I, yeah. I'm just not afraid to give him anything. And so he's probably going, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> there, we are very, very excited to see where this partnership grows to for the next couple of months. And again, Vicky, thank you very much for dropping by. I had fun talking to you today. Oh, absolutely. And I do truly um, enjoy James. I think he's wonderful. Thank you. Don't worry. No one's going to take him away from you. Ken, okay. <laughs> have a great James. day. I'll talk to you real soon. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for listening to our daily dose of Cyber CEO. Stay tuned to know more about how Cyberbacker creates a difference in this digital time and age. You can visit our website www.cyberbacker.com and follow our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Spotify.